Hi, this is Carol Westcott from The Voice Within Studio. Today's technique tidbit, we'll be talking about tip of the tongue mobility. We need to use the tip of the tongue for four consonant sounds. D, T, N, L. The easiest way to remember this is to think the word dental. What I mean by tip of the tongue is for these consonants, the tip of the tongue has to leave its resting place along the inside of the bottom front teeth, flip up, touch the inside of the top front teeth, right around the gum line, flip back down, and we'd like this to be a fairly quick motion. We're also hoping that the tongue is working very efficiently and simply flips versus engaging the back of the tongue. Particularly, this is an issue on the consonant L. American English speaking people generally engage the back of the tongue on L. And then we end up with this all oh, um, lay, lay. So we have to work a little bit on more, being more efficient and just allowing the tip of the tongue to do the work. So for example, if I go lee, 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 I'm not engaging the back of my tongue. And this is important because if you engage the back of your tongue, that tension travels and then creates some laryngeal constriction. We're looking at doing some exercises to become more efficient with tip of the tongue. So I'd like to think about taking the consonants and feeling a vowel sound first. So for example, I'll feel an E and I'll go E, li, li, li. And you can also do this on a singing pitch. You can be E, li, 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 just so that you have the vowel set up and then you can move the tongue freely. You can try this on A, ah, A, ah, la, la, la. The tongue has to travel further with A ah because the jaw is more open. So you can play a game and take all of the tip of the tongue consonants and pair them up with different vowels. And first start with the vowel. And once you're feeling pretty comfortable, then you can simply do li 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 ni 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 na 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 do 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 da 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 di 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 ta 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 ta. And you could do this in speech and also on a singing note. And we're looking at trying to go as quickly as we can over time. So gradually li 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 la 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 di 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 ta 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 ta. Gradually speed that up. We're looking at trying to allow the tongue to move without too much assistance from the jaw. Then we can start to look at what happens in real songs. So you'll start to see that these four consonants occur pretty often in our words. And often you'll have consonant combinations as well. So um, you might have, um, learn, then you have the l at the beginning and the n at the end. And then, so when you're looking at your songs, then you can look at trying to be as efficient as you can with the consonant sounds with the tip of the tongue.